old battery, the, the original one that when it came with, uh, was bad, went bad, so I'm replacing it. And I'm just gonna do a quick video on what I'm doing. This is the battery that was in there. It's a YB10L-A. And I checked the specs. I wanted to get a battery that wasn't a wet battery. See these deals up here, you have to keep electrolyte in those. And if the bike ever tips over, there's a possibility of it spilling. So I got this battery. It's a Bike Master Platinum. Uh, it's an AGM battery, um, advanced, I think it's advanced glass mat. So it's not a liquid battery that can spill. And this is a Y, this is actually a 10L-A2. So I checked the size and everything. Everything seems to fit. It's got the same ratings. It's just, it doesn't have the, uh, the possible of the electrolyte expilling. So anyway, I got the old one out. I'm getting ready to put this one in. So I'm just going to show you my progress here. Okay, you can see the box in here, the plastic box where the battery goes. It's a little bit of a tight fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stick it in there uh, with the video paused and then show you once I've got it in and how to hook everything up. Okay, I got the battery. Just dropped it in the box. One thing I did before I put it in because it's kind of hard to do is see the, the terminals, the screws? These screws go into a threaded block that is actually underneath um, the screw. So it's good to go ahead and put those blocks in there. Put Go ahead and put the screw in and then you will have to take the screw off of course to put the terminals in. But it's kind of hard to do once it's down in there. So I've got it in the box. The first thing I'm going to do is fasten it down. There's this rubber strap with a clip and that goes, there's a little metal edge right here. It's kind of hard to see in the video. There we go. And that's going to clip on there. Okay, one thing you can see here, this is the uh, the terminal. Actually, no, this is the terminal for the battery, the negative terminal. This here is an additional uh, wire I put in. I've got a positive and negative. I put that in there so I could put this uh, connector here. This connector allows me to uh, maintain the battery without, uh, without having to take it out to charge it. I can just simply hook up a quick connect on here and I can use one of the battery tender chargers, any of those. Now the only thing you have to be careful about is this is an AGM battery. So um, follow the directions on the battery for the charging. Uh, they don't want you charging it too long at too a higher rate. It may damage the battery. So make sure you follow the directions on charging. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hook these terminals in and then show you what it looks like. Okay, I've got the negative battery post on there. I didn't fasten it down all the way yet. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. This is the little piece that goes inside the battery post that the screw goes into, the one that's got the threaded parts. So that's why I put that in earlier so that it would be a lot easier. Just pull the screw straight out, put my, my connectors on, and then try and put the screw in. Okay, here, I'm getting ready to hook up my positive terminal. Uh, one thing I did mention earlier that's a good idea to do is as soon as you get your seat off and you get ready to remove the old battery, take a picture so you can see how all the cables are routed and then it'll make it easier uh, when you're putting things back together because it can be a little bit of a tight fit. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hook up the, the positive terminal of the battery, the red here, as well as my charging cable uh, for my quick connect for my uh, battery tender. So I'm going to remove the screw carefully try and take it straight out so the little nut block that's inside the post won't fall out. Screw that down and then I'll show you what it looks like when I've got the screw on there. Okay I've got the screw, the battery screw for the positive post in tight and you can see this is there, there's two because I've got my uh, quick connect for my, for, for my battery charger so now what I'm going to do is they put the, they have this rubber boot to cover the positive post and it's a little bit of a tight fit with my extra uh, cable on there. So I'm going to fold that down over to protect the post. Let's see. Oh, hang on just a sec. Okay, I've got it on there. The other thing that's good to do, you can get this at any auto parts store. This is a battery terminal protector spray and put it on the negative post. Sorry, negative post, 
and the positive post too, and that will help with any corrosion that might cause a problem in the future. Let's say you're getting ready to start your bike somewhere and it doesn't want to start. Sometimes the battery is fine. It's got a full charge, but there's not a good connector or there's corrosion in the way, and that'll keep it from starting. So anyway, okay, I've got that rubber boot back on. I'm going to check all my wire routing, and then I'm going to get ready to put the seat back on. Okay, I checked all my cables, got everything routed good. Um, by the way, this right here, just so you know, this is for that quick connect for the battery uh, charger, the slow charger. There's a fuse in there if there's ever a problem. So the battery won't uh, cook your wire or your charger. And it just has a snap on there. That's The better ones always have that on there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I don't want to start the bike because I haven't ridden this one in a while I've had it on a slow charger every now and then but I'm just gonna um, insert the key and turn it to the on position and that way I can just make sure that the battery seems good and charged I checked it and it seemed like it had a fine charge and the light comes on nice and bright which it wasn't doing with the battery before so I think it's good so now I can go ahead and uh, put the seat back on. Okay, I've got the left side cover here. I took this off to make it easier uh, to get the battery out and also because that's where my quick connect cable is. You can see how I've got it running down through here and it hangs out. Then when I put this back on, it can hide under there. Now the trick to putting, putting the cover back on is you've got these two posts right here. There's two little rectangles that slip on at the front. So your triangle cover slips on at the front, then there's a peg on the other end that goes in here. And yeah, you want to make sure you have it on nice and good here so you don't tear the, the, the uh, oh, it's like a rectangular loop that pops over this before you start pressing it in the rubber grommet here. Hang on just a second and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I've got it on good at the front. Now what I'm going to do is come back here, make sure it's centered over the peg, which I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to show you because of the angle there, but I've got it on the peg and then just slowly increasing pressure push and it'll kind of pop in. Once I've got that done, I don't, I'm not going to need to charge it since I charge, checked the battery real good beforehand. So I'm going to tuck my quick connect in underneath just inside that shell there. But it's always handy there whenever I want to, uh, if I'm not going to ride the bike for a while and I want to charge it for a little bit. I can just pull that right out and hook it up to my quick connect charger. Okay, it's the same deal with the, the left side cover on the other side of the bike here. Try not to block it, but there's one there. And then there's one about right there. And there's the, the push peg. So you're gonna line up your triangular cover and then carefully, slowly push it in at, on the peg right there. Okay, I'm all done and ready to put the seat back on. Now. One thing you'll probably notice is I didn't show you how to take the seat off. Well, that's because I have a non-standard bobber style seat on this bike that we put on later. Um, but it's pretty easy to take the seat off, basically. There's a bolt here on the right side. There's another one right here on the left side. And once you take those out, there's a clip inside here and the seat basically slides back and you can pull it off. Um, but I removed that clip here because of the way my uh, my new bobber style seat fastens. But I'll go ahead and put that back on and anyway I can at least show you what that seat looks like. Okay, here's the, the bobber seat that uh, I ended up putting on my girlfriend's bike. The seat that she had on there, the one that came with it, it was kind of real cushy and high and she's kind of short and honestly it was like sitting on top of a basketball. So this seat has a nice shape to it that really fits you well. It's not too soft, but having the right shape I think is more important than the softness. And then it's got a nice leather top. We had to put the, I put these posts in for the springs and it was able to mount the bolt there. And it, this is a, just a cover to keep debris from getting underneath the seat. A lot of times people, you can just leave that open, but I just like having it to cover up the battery and the other things. And this is just a, a piece of uh, ABS plastic uh, that I, uh, uh, it's, it's actually UV resistant that I cut to fit over that spot, kind of just to cup, keep that stuff as a dust cover. But it takes a little while getting used to it, but man, it was so much better with that seat after I got used to it, my girlfriend too.